My name is Mwani Katin Cordillas and I'm a group leader at the Institute of Bank and Science. Uh, I work on uh, centrosomes and centrioles. So these are very, very small structures. So if we pick our hair and we cut it, it's a hundred times small. But they are very important for cell proliferation, for cell uh, movement. And because of that, they are also involved in many different diseases, including cancer and infertility. So in my uh, first ERC grant, my starting grant, we were actually very interested in understanding how these structures form, because we know that actually one of the deregulations that we see in human disease is that because you have too many of them, or that they are altered in shape. So we actually wanted to know how their number is defined and how their uh, size is defined. And with that grant, we were able to identify components that are very important in regulating this number and also the structure of this uh, center. By doing that, we actually identify the proteins that are important, for example, for sperm motility and therefore for fertility, but also uh, molecules that we now know are deregulated in human, ca human cancer and actually being targeted in clinical trials. Uh, and my second one is just started. It's also critical for, I think, two different reasons. So one of them is that it allows us to think long term. So many of the projects that we are involved with are projects that are high risk. The grant also allows us to get a multidisciplinary team, so people that bring different expertises, and this is critical if we really want to answer these difficult questions. The final thing is actually the ability to buy equipment. So because we work with the, the very small structure that I was telling you about, uh, we need to have microscopes that allow us to see very, very small things. And now in my second ERC, I'm buying a, a super resolution microscope, which is completely critical to actually look at these very, very small structures. And I think there are multiple evidences that uh, uh, groundbreaking research can take a long time to do, and you have to be able to plan. And, to, and you can only do that if you have a five-year grants, which are very unusual. So the ERC is quite unusual in that respect. The final thing that I would say is that uh, I think we do great science in Portugal, but uh, in the last years, it was very difficult to do science because we didn't have that much funding. And the ERC actually allowed me and some of my colleagues to continue doing research that I think at, you know, at the highest level that we can do uh, without really suffering with the, the, the crisis.